feel like this is a video that has been not really requested but something that you guys like to yell at me for because every single time I do a hair dyeing video I get I get a couple comments that say why don't you just buy a wig stop ruining your hair and honestly I don't know why I haven't thought about buying a wig maybe because I feel like wigs are expensive and I don't know if I'm actually gonna like wearing wig and the wigs that I have worn have always just been like Halloween wigs that you just get at the Halloween store so I don't know I think that's just kind of like the impression that I got in my head of wigs so I never really tried but a Apparently companies also think that I need to try on wigs. So I'm very blessed to have the brand Trendy Wigs. Actually, they let me pick out what kind of wig I wanted to try, which was really nice because they have a lot of like colored wigs and stuff like that. I actually didn't get a colored wig at all. I decided to get a like gray type. I've had actually gray color before. Now the thing that sucks is that this is a synthetic wig and I don't know much about synthetic wigs but I don't believe you can dye them or anything like that but I did check the website and it did say that you actually can put heat on this but it's only like under 200 degrees but you're still able to I mean I guess put a little bit of heat on it. It comes with like a little care instruction so you actually can condition it. You can wash it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I'm, this is great for me because I don't know how to take care of a wig, especially like a synthetic one. But it's really nice because they came with two little wig caps. So it came with a black one and a nude one. I'm really glad that they sent a nude one because anytime I've ever worn a wig, I've only used black. And if you have like a really cheap like Halloween wig, I know like the past, like this past Halloween, I had like a white wig and you could really see the black because it was like a cheap wig. So this new one would have come in handy. But yeah, we're just gonna do this right on camera. So this, I, I believe it's like 20 inches, 24 inches long. I'm not, I don't really remember, but this is their dolphin like synthetic lace wig, which is really nice because it was their most popular one. So I don't know why I decided to go with the most popular one. I think it's because I wanted to see what I would look like with some really nice long half-ass blonde hair. This is has like a bit of a gray tint but yeah we're just gonna take it out of the net as you can see i still not i have not opened it nothing like that first impressions feels like smells whatever i don't know it kind of just feels like soft it's not tangly or anything like that is this what it means like when it's like a lace front wig i'm not sure like this i i'm assuming you're supposed to cut this off so um, I think that's what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cut this off. My hair is looking a little crazy because I already took it down, but I ended up, you know, cutting that. That's what it looks like. You know, here we have the wig. I did watch one video and this girl did just go ahead and cut it off and it worked for her. So I don't really know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm gonna do. Now to put it actually on and all of that, I have super thin hair. So I feel like that's an advantage that I do have when it comes to wigs. I know that if you have like thicker hair, I've seen a lot of people braid and there's like a special technique but i don't know i'm really lucky that i have thin hair so i'm just gonna go ahead do that and then i'm gonna put it in like the tightest little bun i have the wig cap on again i don't really know the difference between nude and black i just decided to do nude just because this part is nude but i was trying to watch how to put on a wig because this one i didn't show but it does have these clips on it that you're supposed to like put through the wig cap and then these right here are what you like put in the back like you clip them on from the back i was trying it there's like a whole in-depth uh tutorial on this that nikita dragon has that i was trying to watch so i'm gonna go ahead and try to kind of put it in how she did so if you are wondering like exactly what these are i'll link nikita dragon's video down below i know that like it's just a little bit too straight i feel like what if i were to like cut just like a little bit to have them be like different lengths in the front because when your hair is like in the front i don't know you always have like some type of like a little bit of hair popping out just so it doesn't look so fake and so straight again if you watch nikita dragon's video you'll know what i'm talking about she has like these it just like looks i don't know more natural versus like this doesn't look as natural so i'm gonna put this on and then i'll be right back i look kind of crazy right now but i do want to show you guys kind of like the process so the first time when i put on the wig it looked really different but i 
ever since I like clipped it on it looks a little bit more natural not obviously not as natural because if I go like that and that's where like if you had wig tape or anything like that that's where you would want to glue that in right here as you can see I did it a little bit more poorly if I just put the wig on this is what it was doing but if you really kind of get the clips in right it ends up doing something like this again you can see kind of how I like mess it up right there but it does look a little bit better honestly I'm just kind of lazy to fix that and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and try to like style it now because obviously this looks so fake I would never go out wearing like this I mean your easiest solution would be to literally just put on a beanie or a hat and then it would look kind of different but this is what it looks like actually so far so let me actually get a beanie and show you guys or like some type of hat this is kind of how I wore it so as you can tell I just put the beanie on what I did notice is when I was I was trying like a couple of different beanies is that the really thin ones were kind of hard to get all over the head so I kind of like a nice thick beanie makes it look more natural I mean obviously my hair doesn't look that natural but it blended better on top I know that sounds kind of funny but with a really thin beanie it was very bumpy and you could tell versus this one is thick I hope that made sense but yeah that this is like the ends of it I did brush it it was shedding like not I wouldn't say a lot but it was shedding it might be because of the wig is still new so I was kind of brushing everything through so I decided to try on another hat for you guys I do have again it's like the same thing with the beanies this one is a lot more oversized versus I had one that was more fitted and I couldn't put the fitted one over my head because of like my hair in the back and stuff so that's something where you would want your hair to be really flat or else it would look kind of funky and yeah I mean that's pretty much it I know that I didn't really like style anything for you guys but it's gonna take me a while to figure out how exactly to do everything so if you are interested I mean this is I'm sounds so stupid but you guys can follow me on my Instagram it's at 1-800-BUY and I'm sure I'm gonna be posting like a bunch of different ways of me wearing the wig also you do I, I mean they did give me a coupon code for you guys which is Viola30 I think you get like 30% off that which is kind of nice because I believe this wig was $90 or something like that overall I mean so far I do like this wig with the beanie on I don't want to take this off because it honestly looks so not cute with it not styled I mean like me not messing around anything I don't know if that made sense I'm like blabbering on right now but yeah I mean I've seen this wig on a lot of other people and it looks really cute because they like mess around at the top I'm an amateur and I don't know how to do that so I'm just gonna stick with my hats and my beanies I do like it I think a little bit more with the beanie on but yeah that is pretty much it of me trying to wear a wig for you guys and and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.